Hello everybody, my name is Mark Bonviaje. I am part of Group 09CF and for our third year civil engineering technology project, we did the tensile strength of carbon fiber reinforced concrete versus the steel reinforced concrete. We aim to solve the problem of steel rebar corroding and rusting in reinforced concrete, which damages and weakens the concrete as seen in the pictures. We chose carbon fiber due to its strength and the fact that it does not corrode when in contact with water. The design of our beam consisted of a cross-sectional area of 6 inches by 6 inches. The beams were either 24 to 21 inches long. We used 10M bars with a diameter of 0.44 inches, concrete cover of 1.6 inches, one reinforcing bar per beam, and rebar chairs to hold up the bars. For our concrete mix design, we are looking for a mixture with a high water to cement ratio so the concrete could flow around the bar and into the voids of the rebar chairs. We have found our mixture in a textbook called Control and Design of Concrete Mixtures. The attributes of the concrete mix design are on your screen now. We had casted six total beams, three reinforced with steel rebar and three reinforced with carbon fiber rods. We had casted three cylinders to test the compressive strength of our concrete. The concrete was cured for 28 days and we had followed the standard ASTM C192. To test the tensile strength of our beams, we used the flexural testing machine at Algonquin College as seen on the picture on the left side. The beams would be loaded onto the machine and a force would be applied on top until the beam was broken. The force required to break the beams was recorded. The compressive strength machine was used at Algonquin College. This was uh, to test the compressive strength of our concrete. The cylinders would be loaded into this machine and the force required to break each cylinder was recorded. For the results of our compressive testing, it took on average 182,667 newtons of force to break the cylinders. This results in a compressive strength of 22.5 MPa, which is lower than the design strength. This is okay because it does not affect our main testing since all concrete has the same compressive strength. These are the results of our flexural testing. As you can see, the carbon fiber reinforced beams took a force of 32,900 newtons to break on average, and the steel reinforced beams took on average 67,367 newtons to break. Using the results from the previous slide, we were able to calculate the modulus of rupture. The steel reinforced beam had a strength of 13.1 MPa, where the carbon fiber reinforced beam had a strength of 6.4 MPa. There were many sources of error in our project. Firstly, the beams broke at the rebar chairs because there was a weak point. Batch 1 was different from batch 2 in the concrete mix. There is a difference in the diameter sizes between the rebar and the carbon fiber rods. And the biggest difference was that there is no ridging on the carbon fiber rods. In conclusion, it was determined that our tests were inconclusive. The carbon fiber rods did not have ridging, therefore could not bond with the concrete and may not have had an effect on the tensile strength of the beam. It is recommended that for future testing, 12 millimeter carbon fiber rods with ridging should be used. Thank you for listening. Our contact information is on the screen for any further questions.